every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. The Estadio Urbano Caldera, surprisingly small for a top-flight venue, but it makes up for that in its history and its heritage. And the list of names suggests that what we have in front of us here, Jim, is a 3-5-2 formation. Well, the beauty of this system, Peter, is that you can offer both a back five and the front two, having sufficient strength at either end of the team where you need it. Equally, the wing-backs can supplement the numbers in midfield to make it a five, so I think it affords managers the ultimate flexibility. And I think if I were really pushed on what I'd like most, this would be the, uh, this would be the system. We have already started here. Can't get the better of his... Has a hit! Ball's loose, and he's after it. Olmas... Zielinski gets wrestled off the ball. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Pereira. And he's on a charge. He's still going. Where to next? And the finish! That has certainly tested the keeper. Llorente simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Maximovic can get it clear. Llorente... There's the delivery. Tries to get it forward quickly. Zielinski. Into the box. Knocks it away. Forward it goes. Mario Rui. If you have just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. And it's Bakayoko. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Politano! Oh, it's a beauty! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order! And he's produced a beauty. Napoli break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. It's a throw. Hoist it forward. First 45 minutes are up. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. 
but there has only been that one goal. It was very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. We're just back from your break, there's very little of the resumption of the second half. Udinese don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Hit into the middle. Gets up to hit it! Back of the net! And this is getting better and better. Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. starting to look very comfortable well with this kind of authority Peter why not push on and, and totally kill this off and that's the end of that it all started well enough Zielinski and it's Mario Rui Beautifully done. Played in deep. And he just whacks it away. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. a bit special <laughs> Napoli take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight Politano Zielinski Politano gets away from his opponent. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. And it's played forward. Llorente desperately wants to get on the end of this. Bakayoko. He's got options out wide. Now it's Llorente. Now a chance to break. And it's Llorente. Llorente. Elmas. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Udinese, well beaten. There's no spinning this result, it could have been a whole lot worse. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Udinese, obviously hoping to frustrate and absorb whatever would come their way, but once breached that first time, their game plan was up. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.